Mr. Grinnell here from State of Fitness. I'm here to show you the video of the month, which is going to be a medicine ball throwing circuit. It's going to increase core power, also that really dynamic movement that a lot of us will lose if we don't use it. You know, we do a lot of the medicine ball throws with our athletes to increase you know, the core power for whatever power sport they're playing, lacrosse, football, what have you. But our personal training clients also need to do some medicine ball throwing circuits. As we age, we lose our power two and a half times faster than we do strength. So it makes sense that we need to include power movements that are safe and effective you know, in our routine, not just strength training and mobility, things like that, that we, that we also do in our routine. So I'm gonna show you three basic ones, a chest pass, a side toss, and an overhead throw. You wanna do two sets of 10 reps of each one in a circuit, and not resting at all, because you'll see a good metabolic effect from it as well. You're gonna get your heart rate up, you can get some good fat burning um, pro, um, properties as well. So let me show you the chest pass first. We're gonna use a Dynamax ball. You can use really any medicine ball, but we see that these work real well because they're easy to catch. They're a little softer you know, than some of the medicine balls that we have over there that are a little harder, hard to catch. Uh, so we use the Dynamax balls. I would recommend about four to no more than eight or 10 pounds, depending on a person. Because remember, we're trying to do a fast dynamic movement. It's not really about strength here. We're not trying to take a 20 pound med ball. So the first one's chest pass. Make sure you stand far enough away where you're not gonna have, or you're gonna get too close to the wall where it's gonna be a small throw. It needs to be a big throw. Big, hard, powerful throw, elbows out. You wanna go 10 reps, real hard. Then we're gonna do our side toss. You wanna stagger your foot in front. So the one that's closest to the wall, that's the one that's gonna be forward, this one's gonna be back. Don't get into this big, windy motion at all. And also don't get too small as well, somewhere in the middle. Keep your hips real stable. Short, choppy. So it's really reactive. It's boom, boom. You know, that fast movement. You're also gonna do the other side as well. Then we're gonna do our overhead toss. Get about six to 10 feet away from the wall. You wanna stagger your stance once again, lock in your core. Arms above the head. And as you saw, you know, I staggered my feet you know, with both feet you know, going forward so you can create that, that symmetry. So go through two rounds, 10 reps, chest pass, stagger stance, side toss, stagger stance, overhead toss. And I would do this after you foam roll, get your dynamic warm up in as far as your mobility work, and go to this right before your strength work. You also see that increased awareness when you strength train. Thanks a lot.